you want to get into the intellectual property school where we teach you how to make money from your mind, from YouTube to podcasts to websites. This is one of the things, this is going to be a game changer for you, teaching you how to use certain websites, certain methodologies to make money. All the money that I've made has come from the intellectual property. Everything, my book, my YouTube videos, all this stuff. If you wanna learn how to make money from organic intellectual property, Go below. The link will be in the description. The link will be in the first comment once I wake up. So let's go ahead and get into this video. I'm sitting here reading about Airbnb, right? There's been a ton of people who've gotten into the Airbnb space. There's a ton of people who have literally come up with the money to achieve a second mortgage in addition to the mortgage that they have on their primary residence. These folks have gone out and bought second houses. And then you have another group of people who for some reason can't buy houses. They've gone out and rented apartments or condos or certain things. And they are struggling as well. And I'm gonna say Airbnb is somewhat of an easy business model. And with this easy business model, you're seeing a lot of people who are running into a lot of problems. Etsy, they're one of the things uh, that you will consistently see as an easy business model. And this is what people want. People want something that they can do, something simple, something they can start making money very, very quickly. And these are the absolute worst businesses for you to engage yourself into. Um, once again, let's go ahead and talk about YouTube. There are many people who feel that YouTube is somewhat of an easy business model because they see a lot of YouTube channels. There's like 51 million YouTube channels. But out of that 51 million YouTube channels, 75% of the people who have a YouTube channel don't make any money. And out of the 50 million YouTube channels, there's only 362 thousand that have over a hundred thousand subscribers it's not even a full 10 percent it's like i think it's like one or two percent and this is one of the things youtube it looks easy from sitting here in the youtube gallery you know the youtube audience hey i'm gonna grab a camera i'm gonna make some money on youtube right the actual practice of going on YouTube and making significant money is not easy. And this is why YouTube is a pretty good way for you to go ahead and make money because to make money on YouTube, there are many harder levels that you must cross. There are many things that you must do. And one of the things that is literally killing people is this look or search for easy business models. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, Etsy. Right now, there's a ton of YouTubers creating content. You can go to Mid Journey, you can go to Lenovo, you can go to any of these AI websites and start creating these digital arts and throw them on Etsy. And Etsy is being flooded with new sellers. And here's the thing. The majority of folks who are selling on Etsy do not make any money. Here's the thing. And let's kind of kind of go way way back in time. Let's 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 step way 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 back in time. Years and years ago, I started not one, not two, not three, not four, but five businesses when I was in the military and none of those businesses succeeded. Now, number one, they didn't succeed because I didn't know what I was doing. And many, many years in the future, 
because of some bad circumstances in my personal life, I ended up living in the boarding house. And I came up with a plan. I was listening to Earl Nightingale, Tony Robbins, Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph E. Murray, and I was meditating. So uh, this is the process that I went through. I got a job at Renecrate where I learned how to set appointments. Then I went to panel systems where I learned how to set appointments and I went on a few sales calls. And then I went to business environments and I went ahead and because I knew how to set, I knew how to find leads, I knew how to call leads, I knew how to set appointments. Wait a minute, find leads, call leads, set appointments, go on appointments, close, manage the sale, manage the installation. Here, here's the thing. It took me about 18 months to learn the selling process. And that's one of the things that you say like, hey, you know, it, you're looking at learning something and it's going to take you a year. A lot of people are really, really turned off by that. It's like a year. I don't want to take a year to learn how to do anything. No, I don't want to do anything. And after those 18 months, I got to use those selling skills for 24 years. So it took me 18 months to develop the skill set that I have used for two decades and a half. See, here's the thing, and th this is one of the reasons that you need to run from easy, simple business models. You need to get away from them quickly as possible. Airbnb, what's going on with Airbnb? There are too many Airbnbs. There are too many, like today, I was on Zillow and literally I came across 20 what I would consider failed Airbnbs. These are houses that are fully furnished. There's nothing extravagant or even special about these houses. Yet the landlord wants six to $9,000. I even found one that is a special rental because they want $28,000 per month for this fully furnished house. And I, I found myself asking these questions. How many of these people in the Airbnb B space understand the mindset of the long-term renter? There is no way in hell I would pay $28,000 for this house. It's, it's a gated house. It sits on about two acres. The furniture is hideous. And I'm just sitting there like, these people were smart enough to get an Airbnb, maybe have a second house, but they were not intelligent enough to know the marketplace. That someone who's gonna rent like that outside of someone who's maybe a movie star that's gonna be here short term, um, like me, I'm a furniture guy, you know, I will go out and get my own furniture and I will furnish it myself. I don't want what, what you left up in there cause you didn't want it. So you have a lot of people who got into the Airbnb space and they were able to make a lot of money in the Airbnb space when inventory was thin. And now that inventory has gotten to be more, more so dynamic, I feel that in 2024, you're gonna have a massive sale of Airbnb properties that are going to dramatically impact the real estate market because there's more Airbnb properties than there are properties for sale in the real estate market. So you got all these people who got into it because it was easy, it was simple, it was, and this is what happens anytime you get into an easy, simple business market. Number one, anyone can do it. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. If anyone can do this business model, you really, really need to put on your thinking cap and ask yourself, what's going to happen in the future? There were some more people in the Airbnb space who literally said that they were gonna take their properties off Airbnb because they see what's happening. It's more and more people 
come to the marketplace of Airbnb and put these properties out here, people are finding it harder and harder and harder to rent these properties out. And th this, this, this happens with any, any easy, simple business model. This happens across the board. Now, this is one of the reasons that when I see, once again, this is going to, I'm just going to say it's going to be disrespectful because some people are going to be pissed off. When I see someone who is an Airbnb expert, Toro expert, an Etsy expert, or an Airbnb expert, there's something that just screams. They just scream. I don't know how to get customers. That's what they're screaming. And they're relying on these platforms and these situations to get customers because they don't know how to get customers. And I find it very interesting that someone is calling themselves an expert in business and they don't know how to get customers. They don't know how to generate leads. They don't know how to contact the leads. They don't know how to set sales calls. They don't know some of the most intrinsic rudiment, rudiment, rudimentary examples of business, they don't know how to do these things. But for some reason, I'm an expert on this third party platform that I cannot control who gets the customers. Like every time I see this, I just sit back because like, once again, this, this will be, I don't care. It's going to piss people off. If you're running a business and you don't know how to get customers for your business, you are literally just waiting to be shot. You're waiting to be killed by the marketplace because sooner or later, that's what's going to happen. And this is why all of these easy, simple, you know, things that the average person are looking for, and we're going to talk about that in a minute, just are, are doomed for devastation in the future. If you can get into this easy, simple business model in the beginning, yeah, you'll make some money. But two years down the road, you may find your, remember these, these Hoover boards, the little boards with the platform in the middle and wheels on the side, and they were motorized. Remember that phase? It was hot and a lot of people got into selling them. And literally, how many of those Hoover boards do you see around town now? How many? It was a trend, it was a fad. And the simple, the person who's looking for simple, easy, um, you should be slapped upside your head because Everyone is looking for simple, easy, <clears throat> make money business models. You should just go ahead and just slap yourself. You should slap yourself because what's going to happen is, and if you get into the market towards the end, that's when you really are not going to make any money. That's when you're really going to struggle. So one of the things with the people who are doing the simple, easy business models, they do not want to escalate. I, I'll, I'll share some with you. This year I spent $15,000 just testing some stuff out because here's the thing. As long as you're in that lane of easy, simple, easy to do business models, it's just a matter of time before someone comes and shoots you. It's just a matter of time. And this is why these, they're, they're the absolute worst absolute worst because what you're going to find yourself in a predicament where it's going to get harder and harder and harder to make money with this so-called easy simple business model platform you're going to find it a big big struggle to make money now this is why you want to go for businesses and business models that are harder to get into because let's trucking. They made it real easy to get to, for a lot of people to enter trucking. They made financing of buying a truck really simple. 
what happened? Trucking is collapsing. It's collapsing. And every day you will have someone who wants these easy, simple business models, right? So they can go in and get in there and make that easy money and not work too hard. You're, you're just literally waiting, waiting to be assassinated, just waiting to be shot, waiting to be cucked. Because with all of these easy, simple business models, it's just a matter of time before someone comes and rings on your parade. And I keep saying this because like literally to create a business, because essentially you want to have a barrier that keeps other people out of your business. You want to have something, something that is definitely makes it harder for people to get in your business. Because if your business remains easy, it remains simple, it's not that hard to get into. Whew. Like I said, these are absolutely hands down the worst business models ever to affiliate yourself with, to get into, to actually put a lot of time and effort into. So once again, you should be looking for business models that are present a challenge present a challenge. One of the reasons that I'm able to make money online is because years and years ago, I learned how to sell. I learned how to present and set things up. And I learned how to do these things. I learned how to, I learned so many, many different things years and years ago that helped me make money online. And speaking of that, what you wanna do is go ahead and enroll into intellectual property school where we're gonna be talking about how to make organic money. Organic money is money that comes from your mind, that comes from your situation. Organic money could be a YouTube channel, it could be a podcast, it could be a blog. It could, there, there are so many ways to make money with organic efforts. It will literally blow your mind. So the link is below for you to enroll into the new situation that we have here at the Intellectual Property School with organic money. The link's in the description. And if I'm up and I should be up, the link will be in the first description box and we're gonna have corporate sprints. We're gonna get into a lot of training, a lot of things for you to become successful in this new world that we're developing. And once again, let's say with YouTube, you get into the YouTube section and you learn how to set up your YouTube channel correctly, you can make money while other people are losing money and just making silly cat videos. Yeah, silly cat videos, that's the thing. So with that, enroll into the Intellectual Property School today. I'll see you there. There's a lot of training to help you make money in the future and set your life on fire.